Welcome to the Winston-Salem Regional on the Wake Forest campus. It's our first matchup of the day. Postseason baseball, it's a ride. Here's the starter for the Terps. It is the very reliable, now two-time all-conference selection, Jason Savakul. Fitz he. Outstanding heater, 90-94, touched 96 last week in Omaha in the Big Ten Tournament. This is the lineup card that Mike Lavin has drawn out. Again, it's a aggressive, free swing. They put the ball into play. They steal a lot of bases. And the table setter right at the top is Mike Sirota, the sophomore. Next year. Away we go. Sirota, first pitch swinging, bounces that one over to Nick LaRussa. And so after one pitch, we are underway in Winston-Salem. But the first time facing Savakul has been an extremely reliable starter the last three years for Rob Vaughn. And he's just thrown a 1-2-3 in and a few ground outs. That's Wyatt Scotty, the Cape Cod kid from Barnstable, Massachusetts. The junior has been a very reliable presence on the mound with a 3-8-0 ERA this season. 87-90, strike machine being aggressive. They're, they're going to know that he's in the strike zone, and they're going to know that if you take, you're going to be in a hole quickly. A lot of room for foul balls. A lot of room to make outs. Yeah. Great breaking pitch. That gets Schlinger swinging through it. Those are not bad to be compared to. Now Nick LaRusso swings and drills this one. The big home run threat sends this one out to the wall and left, and it's gone! First pitch swinging and our first long ball the weekend. Home run 100 on the season, which is amazing in college baseball with only a 56-game schedule. Got a pitch up. Center cut and crushed it. What a great swing. Ball's above his belt. Did what you're supposed to. The numbers are just eye-popping. Nebraska in the semifinals. 2-2. There's the hook. And it drops in for a call third strike. Maldonado is frozen. Two out. Maryland, gosh, you hit a fly ball to center field. It's, it's a good chance for a home run. Look out. Backhand stab by LaRusso and across the diamond. And so six up and six down for Samacool. one nothing Maryland. Won 48 games. That was a program record. Now they're conference champs, so the accolades keep coming. And the home runs keep leaving the yard. Eddie Hakopian, a blast. Wow. It's 2 nothing. That ball almost went into the trees behind the road of the stadium. That was amazing. He crushed that. The son of a triple crown winner in the ACC back in the early 90s. His father could mash and so can his son. Let's make it Derek blush with that one. Look at this. Wow. He knew it. Strike zone. Everything's going to be fine. It's not a big inning. Keep it at one. Two, one an inning. Elijah Lambros bounces that one past the starter. And they make play. Reach All this the stage. Here have said that. Yep. 1-0 has bounced past the mound. Good range at second. That's Kevin Keister. And every Northeastern out has been on. And then you wreak havoc, right? If you, don't, if you get that leadoff hitter out. Oh, Spencer bounces that one down the line. Should be extra bases. Stumbled around first. The relay is late anyway. And so there's a two-out double for the senior. Spencer Smith. One's looped in the left, and it's down a base hit. Smith gets the wave, and Northeastern punches back. So McGregor knocks in a run, and a two-out rally. Huge, He's working. Huge two-out RBI right there. We talked about good things will happen. Backside approach, right down the middle. Didn't try to do too much. He tries to pull that ball. He rolls it over to second base. Drand a pair. Let's the 0-2 go. Good breaking pitch in the turf. Strike three. He gave Crossan nothing but the nasty stuff there, hitting over. Configure things. All well, these tournaments, conference tournaments, regionals, getting to Omaha. And yeah, the shift does not 
Or it works this time. Maldonado is out. That was Keister who came over and made the play. Going down. Take it, take it where it's pitched. Payoff with two out. Harrison Feinberg works the walk. Kicking game. It works in baseball. One, two. Oh, that one ricochets off of Savakul's leg. He goes down on a knee. The base runner and the shortstop, Shaw, actually collided. So he just stumbled. Yes. And, and then Shaw had to dodge him. That one is bounced through the right side. Feinberg gets the wave. Woods throw to the plate is late. And we're tied up at two. So back-to-back -back runs for Northeastern score in consecutive innings with two outs. Heading for the Huskies. The I'll tell you what, stop. the backside. Just a great job of keeping the ball to the backside, staying inside the baseball. That's how you hit it. That's how you hit him. To try to pull him, it's a ground ball. Open a game of our regional, not it up at two. Outside edge, it's a call third strike. Savakul with four strikeouts. But Northeastern scores another two-out run. Program record holder. And he might have just gone deep again. Tees off on this one. Back to the wall in center. Hits halfway up the fence. Sorota leap for it. Couldn't come up with it. And La Rosa, La Rosa, pardon me, slides into third with a leadoff triple in the fourth. Wow. Petrutz hits this one in the air out to left center. It's certainly deep enough to get La Rosa home. Maryland pulls back in front. Nothing better. Well, maybe that thing out in Omaha. Matt Woods lifts this to the left center field gap. Yeah. Yeah, this, yeah this okay, it was Feinberg who got it. Omaha's even better, of course. One so the inning is over. But Maryland tacks on another hitter on here, especially the uh, athlete that we have at the plate right now. Wave and a miss. Five strikeouts now for Savakul. One of his favorite players. Can you take a guess? That one's off the end of the bat. McGregor bounces out to Shaw, so there's two away. Big fan of go ahead. Garrett Cole. Uh, so right now when he's down, he's getting a lot of ground balls and kind of making it easy for him. So we got to get the ball up in the zone. Nice. Uh, Coach, we thank you for doing this. Good luck the rest of the way. All right, thanks, guys. Yeah, Sirota, by the way, chasing that one down in deep center to retire. Hard chop in the hole. Spencer Smith with a nice backhanded play and on to first for a 1-2-3 inning. It's the first of the day for Scotty. Somebody on Sunday is going to have to play twice to keep their seasons alive. Cam Maldonado bounces out to Nick LaRusso to start the sixth inning. An All-American a year ago. Very reliable. The pause, the 2-2, and he gets Beckstein. It's a 1-2-3 frame, and Savakul is heating up. The junior from Paxton, Massachusetts, he is unequivocally one of prob probably the most valuable long reliever out. Took him out with that pitch count. He was doing a great job, but he knows his guys better than we do. This one is tailing back at the wall. A collision. It's Feinberg. Collided with the fence, couldn't make the play, and so it's a leadoff double for Luke Schlig. It's not like a regular warning track. You're not used to that. Shaw rips that one in the left. That's a base hit. Feinberg up with it. The runner gets the stop sign at third. So runners at the corners. Hits that one hard. That bounces past crossing. Schlager scores, and it's 4-2 to Maryland. That's a possible rollover double play. Instead, it goes into the outfield. So even he is with third base, if he's deep right there, I think he has a chance to make that into a double play, and he got a chance to minimize that. Lifts the yo one up into right. Shaw is ready to tag. Maldonado makes the catch, hits the cutoff man. That one bounces through. The runner from second Ooh. moves up as well. And the throw to second base. They got him. Unconventional, but Northeastern 
gets a couple of outs in this sequence. Little pep there. Your the team has helped bail you out. And he strikes out Woods. Inning is over. Maryland does add to it. So the Terps, the Big Ten champs, after Jason Savakul struck out seven in six innings through a little more than 100 pitches. 109 to be exact. They go to one of their very reliable right-handed arms out of the pen, Kenny Lippman. And they're going to take you from game to game. Back to the top of the order. This is Mike Sirota. Deep in the hole again for Shaw. Got it there in time. So Smith retired at second base. Sirota. It's got a lot of ride and a lot of a lot of life. 2-0 in the hole once again. Keister's got it, and the inning is over. Maryland, that veteran infield. Twice an inning ago to stretch it to a three-run advantage. Big swing and a rip off of Jacob Orr's bat right to Danny Crossan. One out. Top of the eighth. The Huskies have six outs to work with. And there's a base hit down the line. Danny Crossan, their veteran, slashes it all the way to the wall. He winds up at second base easily. And so Northeastern finally gets that leadoff man aboard. Trying to protect with two strikes. Put something into play. Mm, check swing. He did go around there. So Kenny Lippman got him. Lippman's second full inning of work. Two strike hits. Feinberg's aboard, though, so now two on, and Luke Beckstein's coming up. Lippman serves up the one-two. Rolled over to third. LaRusso takes it to the base, and so Maryland's three outs away from advancing to the winner's game tomorrow. We go to the home eight. Here's the Big Ten Player of the Year. Shaw rips that one in the air out to right. It's Jason Maldonado back. The wind is pushing it, and he dropped it. So now 2-1 to start the eighth inning. That ball had a lot of English on it. Aches of what just adding even one or two runs here can do. There's a swing, line drive, fading into right, bounces off of Maldonado's mitt. Schlegger scores easily. Shaw moves up to second, and Petrutz is knocked in his second run today. It's 6-2. to two. Place in the sixth, and now another one here in the eighth. Shaw takes off, no throw. So runners at the uh, corners once again with just one out in the eighth inning. Woods, the veteran, the senior, waiting. That bounces away. Here comes Shaw, and he scores. We've gotten a five. That stolen base uh, of third by Matt Shaw proves to be very critical. See if the house wins. Payoff. Smith waves and misses. One away. Is that ball up? He'll be battling. These guys are gritty. Johnson trying to close the door. The one-two. That's it in the air. Out to left. Orr settles underneath. And the game is over. Maryland scores some late runs in the sixth and eighth innings to pat its lead and ultimately win the first game of our regional. And so with the win, it plays either Wake Forest or George Mason, the winner of that game, tomorrow at 6 Eastern. Really impressive win by the Maryland Terrapins right there. They played their style of ball.